Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey, and, and this that's is Dixie. Dixie, and we're Love Hut for Life. We've been on the road for 27 weeks now in our self-built truck bed tiny house. And this week, we got a lot of tiny home improvements done. We did. We did most of that in the Painted Hills, but throughout the week, we've uh, been slacking on our social distancing practices just a bit more than we have uh, in previous weeks. And uh, as a result, have met some really awesome people along the road. I hope you enjoy this week's episode as much as we did. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well as the su subscribe button below. We left you last week at the Pony Express in Yarrington, Nevada. We had a little bit of work to do, including adding some extra ports into the house so that we no longer have to turn the inverter on in order to charge our devices. Not bad for a day's work in the desert. And I finished in time that we still caught a sunset. The next morning, we had an offer that we just couldn't refuse. Due to the huge online community of nomadic livers, we've made a lot of friends that we've never actually met in person. And this week, one of them actually got a hold of us because we were in their neighborhood and they were offering us some friendly human contact that we haven't had in nearly two months, as well as a shower, which we have not had in nearly two months. It's fitting that we were going to meet Michael on this day because it just so happened to be the six month anniversary of the day that we hit the road. And over this six month journey, the people that we've met and the kindness of strangers has been uh, the biggest part of our journey and has just meant so much to both of us. Michael was cool as hell. He welcomed us into his neighborhood, his home. He allowed us to bathe, he even fed us. He also took us to a local fuel tank farm and showed us the cheapest gas in town to make sure that Biggin's tanks were full before we hit the road again with a roast in hand. We made it to another BLM right outside of Yarrington in time for yet another incredible sunset. This one from inside because we were clean and we wanted to stay that way for at least one night. Then came Monday. Time to head out to the big city. As with any country drive, we had a few stops to make along the way. The first one being at Fort Churchill State Historical Park. Due to ever-present health concerns, the park was closed. So on the road we went again. We keep seeing all of these signs to watch out for wild horses, but we haven't seen any yet. I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I was raised watching Western movies and a particular television show called Bonanza. So going to Virginia City was quite exciting for me. While the Ponderosa was a little closer to Lake Tahoe, Virginia City was the nearest uh, city where the Cartwrights would go to converse with Sheriff Roy Coffey or his deputy, Clem Foster. If you head down Main Street, it is like a flashback in time with the stores and different businesses jutted all together. I love these old Western style towns. While most of the people were still social distancing, the deer were out to play. Mm -hmm. 
as much fun as we were having, we needed things that this small town just couldn't offer for us. So we headed on down to Carson. These mountain drives never get old. We did manage to find a Lowe's, but we got to town just a little too late and couldn't make the rest of the stops we needed, so it was off on a search for a public land before the sun set. It was a pretty bumpy road in and almost straight up a mountainside, so we thought we were finding ourselves a pretty remote spot. That was until we set up camp, set our chairs out, and were greeted by a very kind stranger once again. Janice suggested that we head up trail just a little bit further to get a full view of the Carson Valley, as well as to get away from the traffic that inevitably came through all night long. The next morning, we were headed back into the city to finish getting all of the supplies that we needed for a week full of tiny home repairs. We weren't able to get everything we needed, but we certainly were able to get enough to keep us busy for several days, so off we went to the Painted Hills. We got set up and settled in to what would be home for the next several days. And uh, in the meantime, Shane got started working on our celebrations of Cinco de Mayo because we'll be damned if a virus named after a Mexican beer is going to stop us from celebrating Cinco de Mayo. You know, I'm not very sure of when I'll return back to the bartending world, but until then, these drinking buddies are all I need. The next morning, we figured out that we could move just slightly and have some pretty decent cell service. So we did that before starting headfirst into our projects. Once again, that awesome online community brought someone else into our life. John Dean stopped by to say hello. I got to work on our stovetop that has taken a bit of a beating over the last six months. And I started building a wooden box with a very specific purpose in mind. We worked until the sun went down. Shane's project is going to take a few days, but I got my first one done. The next morning was coffee in the sunshine and then back to work for both of us. Between the sun and the wind, it was a brutal day of work, but we managed to get a lot done. The sun only allows you to work for so long, so eventually we had to pack it in and watch the moon come out over the mountain. On Friday though, we were both determined to get it all done.
Well, Shane was determined. Me and Dixie pretty much just spent the day playing in the sun. Those two weren't exactly in the mood to be helpful, but I got it done. We have a toilet! For those of you that are interested, we will post a how-to video on exactly how we built this monstrosity, but we have a toilet and we're both really excited about it. We got done just in time to cook dinner and be able to sit and watch the colors change as the sun sets over this valley. As y'all can see, we got a lot done this week. It's a different house. It looks different. It feels different. I'm really excited. Yeah, it has been a very productive week and it's also been really nice getting that social contact in. We didn't realize quite how much we miss people until we got to see them again. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for following along. If you are interested in uh, how we built our composting toilet, we will be posting a video on that in the next couple of days. And how you can stay on track with that is hit that subscribe button below and it'll notify you that we've posted that video. It will. And guys, once again, we always want to just uh, take a moment to say how grateful we are for each and every one of our subscribers. All of you mean a whole lot to us and uh, we just want to thank you for being you. Peace out, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.